Hello and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Introductions have been made. And now it looks like that that ding dong bing bong means stuff's gonna go down. Is that a school bell just now? Huh? Hajime, look at that monitor over there. Congratulations, everyone! Thank it you. appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. Oh. I'm I'm so happy. So I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy. I apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach. <laughs> May shining hope be with you all. Okay. What to do? She said to meet at the beach. Is that going to be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about all this. What? Thinking won't solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Is that precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm really worried, but it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. I didn't actually save before, so we'll do that real quick. Take a look at our pet. Does it need? No, nope, it doesn't need to be clean. the last to arrive. What are you dilly-dallying for? <laughs> Sorry to keep you all waiting. That's fine. Well, that's all right. More importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves before that rabbit returns. <laughs> Let's talk! Listen. Now then, let me hear your initial impressions of this island. Now that you mention I happen to notice numerous blocked-off bridges on the central island. Oh! Oh! Those are s they're so everybody doesn't get lost. I tried to cross one of them, and that rabbit showed up and told me, so I'm telling the truth. What? So we don't get lost? Is this island really so big? <laughs> but if you look at it in depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's got a resort and everything. Well, not that I've ever been to a resort before, but... Hey, hey! Also, there's a big ranch. Um... There's also a large supermarket, too. Looks like it stocks everything from food to living anemones. Hmm. The hotel was really nice too. It'd be great if we could stay there. <laughs> the restaurant inside the hotel is also very nice. It seemed to cater to a more plebeian taste. Hi. Can you guys listen to what I want to say too? I found something very important on this island. I can't stop. Girls, very, very cute girls, <laughs> all over the place. Gross! I'm getting goosebumps! Huh. All of you are fools. I can't believe nobody has mentioned the most serious truth. Huh? The most serious truth? Not possible. If no one here rec realized it, you're all bigger fools than I thought. Huh? What'd you say, you fat bastard? Don't be talking all big and shit! Such ignorance. Small dogs shouldn't bark so loud. The most serious truth. What's he mean? Well, let's... Let's have it. Biakia, if that is your real name. Did you find out something about the island? Hmm. Have you all gone to the park that's across the bridge? The park with that weird bronze statue of all those creepy animals, right? Listen. When I saw it, I remembered a story I heard before. There's an island in the Pacific Ocean, 
a beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. It is also said that five holy animals symbolize each of those surrounding islands. Now listen. And that island's name is Jabberwock Island. Could it be? Could this island be Jabberwock Island? Is that the name of this island? Very strange. Still, there is something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard, Jabberwock Island is already... Hmm. Never mind. Hold on! Hold it right there. That's a rather incomplete story you told us. Don't worry. No need to shout. I'll let you know once I obtain more information. Uh... I don't care what this island's called. Nico Nico Island or Papua Island or whatever. It doesn't change the fact we all gotta live here, right? Yahoo! Living together on this tropical island sure is exciting! I'm super looking forward to it! <laughs> right on! This ain't a bad school at all! Hey, you guys! I like it! Mm, I like this island, too! <laughs> Can't say the same about the rest of you Cretans! Wow! Did I hear something? Hmm. I'm still worried, but I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. <laughs> Yeah, since there's no danger or inconvenience, I feel like this won't be a problem. Hey, uh, listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about all this. We're all here to attend Hope's Peak Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead? No matter what, it's completely weird. Fiend. Why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something. Huh? To tell you the truth. Plus, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can. <laughs> there's no ship and the planes are just for show. It appears. From what I've discovered, there's no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for help. Um... Then, why don't we just swim home? It's impossible! There's no way we can swim that far! Show some spirit! <laughs> what? Are you stupid? I'm telling you, that's impossible! Then what if we cut down some trees and make a raft? I won't let you! Nuh-uh, you can't do that! That's the biggest of no-nos! Got it? Please recall the guidelines of this school trip. Oh, oops, I didn't... Uh... Shit, I didn't... Wait... Littering's not allowed. Let's... Coexist with the island's bountiful nature and prosperity. I want everyone to get along and live peacefully on this beautiful tropical island. What's with these rules? Who cares about that? That's enough. Stop. This rabbit seems to be rather finicky about these so called rules. I don't know how. If, if this is Byakuya, did his memory of the last of the events of the last game get erased? If so, he... Even if so, he might still know a little bit something about the rules and how you don't want to break them. Based on that, what if your actions place everyone here in danger? Oh, uh, the real danger is a bit much. I wouldn't do something like that. Hajime. I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? As long as we don't do anything weird, it seems there's no danger. Yep. And as long as we gather the hope fragments, we'll be able to get off this island soon. You're all just gonna believe that? <laughs> there's no other choice but to believe, for now, that is. Hey, hey! Anyway, you saw me. What's this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? Love! That's right. Well, of course I didn't forget. Love! Love. Love. This is it. Don't be upset, I prepared one for you all, so don't worry. What is this? <laughs> it's a new Sami strap. If you squeeze the tummy, it talks. I'm Usami. Magical what? miracle girl Usami. I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk. What? <laughs> Isn't it cute? Love, love. What a waste of time. Man, I got my hopes up, too. I'm ashamed I even had my hopes up. Do you think so? Really? I think it's pretty cute. Especially how the ears look like a rabbit's. 
Tina! Well, Isami does mean rabbit, you know. Regardless, a large number of Sami straps ended up on the beach. Oh. Regardless, a large number of Sami straps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured, after everyone received their strap, they just tossed them on the beach. Hey! You can't take nature with trash! See, even you think they're trash. Usami sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. <laughs> and I even prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to you bad kids. You have something else? Um... Well, compared to the Usami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I've prepared... A motive. For everyone. Here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. A motive. Hey! That's right, a motive for everyone to get along. Okay. That that we can work with. We've come all this way to a tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something island themed. <laughs> like what? You think of throwing a big party or something? Correct! Wow. Is it a festival? Or maybe a miniature shrine? How wonderful! Anyway... Excuse me, Miss Sonya. <laughs> My loins are still full of poison. I'd appreciate if you could still... S you could suck it out with your mouth. Right here in front of everybody? Dude, I, I appreciate your spirit, but... Wait. Not... Not in front of everybody. Right. Oh, your tenderloins. You betcha. Okay, yes. just ignore him, Sonya. Again, you can, whatever you two do in your own room is is fine. If we're talking about fun parties on a tropical island, maybe it should be a barbecue or something. Ah, oh. oh, campfire sounds fun too. Let's kill. Let's find a hoop snake and kill it. What? You serious? Is looking for one not enough for you? I see. It seems everyone has different ideas, but if we're gonna be at the ocean, then first... This is what it's all about! This is... A swimming bag? Whoa! Then that means... That's right, I have swimsuits for everyone! Well, school swimsuits, actually. Oh, are you telling us to go swimming in a situation like this? That's... It's not like I'm ordering you guys to go swim or anything. It's just if you want to go swim, you can. There's no way I'm going swimming. There's no way anyone would be so thoughtless as to go swimming in a situation like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the girls can... The girls in their swimsuits, that might be... That might be nice to watch. Huh? That's right! Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With weather this nice, there's no way I'm going to pass on swimming. I agree. Even my loins agree, see? Your tender loins, I understand. Wait! Seriously, don't try to understand. Hey, hey! How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? Alright! Let's go change! Those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get their swimsuits from Isami. And ran straight to the hotel to change. Hey. What are you gonna do, Hajime? Hajime. I understand how you feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> but if you feel up to it, I'd be happy if you came along too. After he said that, Nagito ran over the hotel as well. There's no danger on this island. There's something tragic waiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? If so, am I actually wrong? Hmm. <laughs> You're not so sure. You're not gonna swim, Biakia? <laughs> like that? Not possible. Of course not. That's enough. However, don't think that mean that makes us don't think that makes us friends or anything. Our reasons couldn't be that much different. Different reasons? <laughs> you cannot accept our situation because you're nothing but a coward, right? Coward? What? That Usami thing is not lying to us. You're starting to realize that, aren't you? Then why aren't you gonna swim? <laughs> I simply don't like ocean water. It's too salty. That's not something to boast about. No kids say the same thing when they don't want to swim.
You're not gonna swim? Sleepy. I'm like really, really sleepy right now. I see. It would be a problem if you fell asleep while you were swimming. I'd probably drown. More like definitely drown. But to be sleeping in a situation like this, she sure got some bold nerves. Don't talk to me. Swimming blows. I'm talking to you is even more annoying. Mind your own business. Man, he's so blunt. <laughs> ah, speaking of which, everyone's returned. As you saw me said that, I turned around and... I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. It is the ocean. Hey, I got some suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? <laughs> oh, you're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply it right away? <laughs> Rubbing lotion on a muscular man. All right, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. You seem a little hey. too open. Like you're covering too many bases by yourself. <laughs> I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of oil. What is this feeling of intense bloodlust? Huh? Say what? It feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun. I... I... <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy. Everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy. I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates. Ding, ding, ding. Let's keep up the pace and all do our best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip. What's this feeling of alienation? I can't really put it into words. Am I really wrong about all this? It's like he's it's like he's coming into this with the mindset of someone who played the first game. And he, he just knows something bad is gonna happen. Fine, I just gotta do it, right? Then I'll do it. That's right, I'll do it. Huh? Hachime, did something happen? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one worrying. I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have fun. Hey, you guys! Don't forget about me! Hey, hey, wait for me! Let me join in the fun! Wait, huh? Uh. Uh oh. Suddenly the sky grew cloudy. Huh? What's this? What's happening? Those strange clouds. This doesn't look natural at all. Huh? Hey, what's going on? What'd you do? This obvious this is obviously not right. It was sunny just a few minutes ago. <gasps> oh, whoa, whoa. Hey! What is this? Huh? I didn't do anything. What is all this? There's no way. Something like this shouldn't be happening. And at that exact moment. Just when it seemed like this couldn't get more confusing, it suddenly happened. It? What the hell? Uh, uh, my check! My oh check. no! Here he is! He's here! Uh, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me? Unfortunately, yes. That voice was so laid back and so gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was different than Usami's. As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind that laid back voice. The moment I felt it, my body shuddered. <laughs> Surprise? You were totally surprised! Right? Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind! 
It's time for the main attraction! You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park! Could it be? This voice? If this is... Oh, this is very bad. I gotta do something. I won't let you. It's all up to me. Hey, wait. Very strange. It seems that it was an unusual occurrence. Hmm. It's best if we go to Chaverwalk Park, was it? Let's hurry. Hey! But what about everyone who's swimming? Naturally. There's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. Listen <laughs> to that loud, loud thump of his running. Shit. What the hell's going on? You really pissed at something fucking stupid. What is this? What the hell's going on? Okay, Jabberwock Park, right? Hey, you still here? Goo, there's just too many Mr. Krabs. Fine, I'll just step on them later. You crabs better run while you still can. Oh, that was me. That was me again. As we arrived at Jabberwock Park, the Sami shouting voice could be heard ringing throughout the barn. I won't let you. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Hiding? Who are you talking to? <laughs> there he is. Huh? Hey, hey! Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> yep. It's him. Why, hello there! Thank you all for waiting! Not too much of a surprise after the end of the of the last game. The stinger at the end of the credits implied that he is still that he is still alive in some capacity. Even though we thought we thought the 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 person behind him was done away with, there was still like that ultimate despair, which seems like an organization rather than one single person behind him. Long time no see, guys! I am Monokuma! I'm the headmaster of this academy! <laughs> yeah, we know you are. Monokuma appears! <laughs> now that I made my dashing appearance, the first thing I need to say is... Lame! This is so friggin' lame! Lame, I say! Lamer than a lamest lame sauce! Oh wait, lame sauce. Is that tasty? Hey, hey. Just as I thought, it was you. But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Silence! Uh, shut up! Hey, um... I, I'm livid, you know. And I'm about ready to bark thanks to your lukewarm attitude. Just what's with this heart-throbbing school trip crap anyway? I'm bored. So hopelessly bored. This just ain't fun at all! You better knock off this farce right now! What are you thinking? You gotta make this, you know, meet the demands of the world! Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives! What everyone wants to see is... <laughs> other people's misery and despair! What the, what the hell is with this stuffed animal? Nothing sane makes any damn sense. What? What is going on? What is that thing? You're you're not having any uh, any deja vu here. I won't let you. Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. I don't know why Monokuma's here, but as long as I have this magic stick. Yeah! Opening. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now then, 
what to do after my flawless victory. First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So, I'm gonna make you in my image. <laughs> what do you mean by that? This is what happens when you defy me. I'll crunch ya, I'll bite ya, I'll rip you apart. <gasps> Stop it! Hey, hold still. This wooden stick isn't gonna shove itself in, you know? A what? No! That's a no-no! That's a big no-no! Ta-da! What the hell? It's supposed to look weird like this takes me back to normal. What's this? My, my, define your big brother's fashion sense. Is Minami a little troublemaker? Hey! Big brother, Minami. My little sister! Your current position's too wishy-washy, so I'm sending you to be my little sister, Minami. <laughs> Though it's only external setting after all. Hey! Why do I have to be your little sister? Big sister, then? You want to be the older sister that got separated at birth? I don't like hmm. this. That doesn't really feel right. Yep, you're definitely more like a little sister. Call me Big Brother. So, that's how it's going to be, Manami. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I'll never forgive you. Oh. How? Even the display changed to Manami. I won't forgive you. <laughs> a little fourth wall breaking. Hey, I won't let you make up your own settings. Oh. Stupid fool! Do you think you can win against me? No! It hurts a lot when you punch me! <laughs> How about that? Now you've learned your lesson! What is this? Living stuffed animals fighting each other? That's like, completely insane. If only I still had the magic stick, I could have totally been that awful Monokuma. <laughs> it's your fault for leaving yourself open. Even a one second opening is life threatening on a battlefield. Hey, hey. Hey, what's with this stupid performance? Huh? Who freaking knows? But it's obvious something bad is happening. Huh? What is this? What's going on? <laughs> Now she's all weird looking. Weird looking? She matches me now, you know. How insensitive. What the? There's more of them? What did you say? What does this mean? What is that black and white tanuki? Bear it! I'm not a tanuki, I'm a bear! I'm Monokuma! What's going on? Well, I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal appeared. I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal. I'm Monokuma, the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. This is... Monokuma? Huh? Did you say headmaster? Anyway... Regardless, it appears everyone is gathered. Now then, as the headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. <laughs> From this point onward, the killing school trip will now commence. Here we go, folks. Killing school trip? <laughs> a school trip where everyone gets along has no stimulation at all. And it's so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. Hey, hey! You guys agree with me, right? Thank you for waiting. So, let's begin our killing school trip. Do your best. Naturally, you guys are the contestants. You're kidding, right? Killing contestants? I won't forgive you! What are you saying? I will absolutely, positively not allow such bloody events. Ah! Oh! It hurts a lot when you kick me, too! Monami's such Jeez. a dumb child. Jeez, Monokuma's laying down the law. Jeez, your brain sure is tiny, Monami! How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time! 
Except in manga, Lil's sister is never smarter than her big brother. Allow me to explain! Now then, we got off topic for a while, so let's get back to the explanation of the killing school trip. <laughs> what do you mean, killing school trip? What are you saying? Is it obvious? You guys are gonna kill each other! No. Kill each other, I see. Are you kidding me? Kill each other? No way. What are you saying? That's impossible. No. Well, don't you think it's kind of lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you all get along? So we're changing the rules. Yahoo! If you want up this island, then please kill one of your friends. And then make it through the class trial without getting caught. <gasps> class trial? That's right! The class trial's the real charm of this killing school trip. Uh, Allow yes. me to explain! If one of you gets murdered, the surviving members must participate in the class trial. At the class trial, there will be a showdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you'll present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. The outcome will be decided by popular vote, and if you arrive at the correct answer, only the blackened killer will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive and the rest of you will receive your punishment. As far as the class trials the rules go, that's all there is to it. In other words... Which means, if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you get to live and leave this island. However, if you're found guilty during the class trial, then you'll be punished. It's a familiar but simple rule, right? What the heck? You keep repeating that word punish over and over. What's the deal with that? Hmm. Basically, it's an execution. That is... Execution? The pleasing punishment that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the killing school trip. <laughs> what sort of spine-tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it! I'm already getting excited! I'm sure you are. There may even be some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with a thingamajig claw! Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning. The shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, crushing, cursing. Sing! Please choose whichever killing method you prefer. No time limit, so you can kill as you please. It's an all-you-can-murder buffet, a theme park of murder. That's awesomely poptastic! That's what this killing school trip is all about. I touch my chest without realizing it. With each beat of my heart, a sharp, stabbing pain coursed through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Damn it. Don't fuck with me. That's right! Who on earth would kill someone? No way! I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill someone's entirely up to you. No, no! But be careful! Youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late if you guys wait till you're in your 40s to start killing each other. I won't believe. I won't believe. What's going on? What if nobody ever gets murdered? Does that mean we'll never leave this island? Who knows? Anyway... I'd like for y'all to go through this killing school trip in a healthy and positive manner. What's going on? Hey, wait just a minute. Why do we have to do this? What's this? Well, it's obvious. There's a reason you all need to kill each other. Huh? Hold on! You've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I have no idea! I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen. I'm gonna do it! Oh, wow. That's a... a Connie, that's a kind of creepy and also kind of... Oh, what a fight. Do I need to beat the crap out of that black and white bear? Let's go. Who would dare try to kill... I'll put a stop to it with force if necessary. Why, you? If you keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in our group are going to lose their patience. Fine, fine. Ah, is that so? Well, I guess I expected this reaction. Mm. If you guys want to do things by force, I'll have to fight back with a little force of my own. Hey! 
course, what are you gonna do? Surge, oh gods who dwell beneath between light and darkness. In accordance with our contract, I summon thee now. Come forth, mana beasts! Wait, what? What is this shit? What the hell? What the hell? What is this? You got Beast Wars up in this shit? I've seen lots of strange and surprising things since I first arrived at this island, but still, the phenomenon taking place right in front of me was blatantly out of this world. Huh? What is this? Why did the statue move? Wrong! That's no statue! They're mana beasts! Ah! Monster! Hey! No, I just said they're mono beasts! The strange thing about genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. The sudden appearance of a monster might be normal in anime and video games. That's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of the situation. I couldn't even feel fear. All I could do was stand aghast. No! No, this can't be. This is just too weird. Tell me. Am I having a nightmare or something? <laughs> yeah, a nightmare, he says. He just admits brings a total flower patch. Unbelievable. Jeez, you guys sure are a skeptical bunch. If something doesn't fit within your narrow notions of common sense, you just deny it outright. How stupid. I heard cavemen are better than you all. I don't like this. Classifying events according to their genres a disease of the modern age. Stay back. I, I'll protect everyone. Even at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone. Uh, oh, what's this? Uh, I know, this is nausea. This sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke. Let's go! Alrighty it's then. It's punishment time! Alrighty then, it's decided. You'll be my example to everyone. Oh, oh no. Oh no. What is that? <laughs> okay, that's, that's actually kind of funny. It's only the first stage and Manami's already dead. What? Is that a demon? Or perhaps it's a weapon from the future? <laughs> Mono beasts are dreadful weapons of destruction. The sudden appearance of a monster? Even though a life-threatening monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. It's not that we didn't realize it was a monster. We were just vastly out of our element. We never expected to experience anything like this before. Had no idea how to deal with it. That reality was very lethal at this particular moment. <sighs> That's right. This is what I wanted. This feeling of despair. Giving an example was totally the right call. <laughs> Unlike the ex exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were completely frozen. As though we'd forgotten to breathe, we just stood there horrified. We were powerless, no different than ants washed away in a storm. Well now, I believe I made my point. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me! Mm. Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Cause I'm a bear after all! An excuse like, 
I got high off this tropical atmosphere. Woof, work on me at all. Hmm. Also, in addition to the Killing School trip, I've already updated the e-handbook. There, the rules for the Killing School trip are written, so you better read them thoroughly. <laughs> Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also true of any society, really. Now then, enjoy the remainder of this liberating and harsh school trip! Damn. Wow. After he said his piece. Monokuma and his mono beast vanished before our eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't care if this was the aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We all had this tired expression on our pale faces. That's what just happened. Um. Um... I won't believe. I won't believe. That's it. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> It'd be one thing if we were up against a human or even an animal. <laughs> the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It's impossible. Why is something impossible happening? It's certainly possible. Well, it's not really impossible. Those mana beasts, or whatever they're called, they're machines. Thus, Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. Then... Who could be responsible? Why were we put in this unexplainable situation? Answer me! Hey, who is it? Who? Ah, uh, <laughs> It could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I'd believe something like that. Anyway. More importantly, are you guys hungry? Let's stop thinking about this and just eat. Oh. You can eat first. Listen. No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but... We don't need to be cautious of those machines or even of whoever's controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of... Ourselves. Uh, mm, here we go. Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds, and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. We looked around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island. Which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's a possibility that a killing may never occur, but even I'm no different. So can I be truly confident that something like that isn't going to happen? There's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything. Even of yourself. That's why it felt so hopeless. That day became a day unlike any other. A day which held a more significant meaning. It was a special day. A very meaningful day, full of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun, and this tropical island was the stage. Who damn!
Okay, folks. We will, uh... The killing game is afoot, once again. So... Next time... We will see how it goes from here. Who is the first to die? Who is the first to kill? We will soon see. Later, guys. I'm playing a game.